Well, there's Steve White, Steve White, so you know, well, I'm here with the turtles. Um, these are the Necker turtles from the original movie trilogy, which is what I'm talking about today. Um, you know, with the whole new film, it kind of put me in a turtles mood, and I decided to have a marathon of the films. I watched the first three films, so this is just about the first original live-action trilogy. Now, the new Mutant Mayhem film, it only made $25 million on its opening, which is actually, sorry, 28 which is only a few million more than the original opened to in 1990. So there's a lot of concern that the film is going to bomb, it's not going to do so well. But I think it mostly exists just to um, keep the licensing and the merchandise running, you know, flowing. So I don't think people are too worried about the actual box office of the film. I don't think it matters that much. But um, the original did really well. The original um, made $135 million domestically in 1990 on a 13 million dollar budget and 66 million international so it made 202 million back in the day on a 13 million dollar budget it was a huge hit it was a um, independent film and no one really saw it coming no one really saw the turtles coming the turtles have a really interesting um, start it was literally two guys who just in their in their living room basically drew a cartoon and lent money off an uncle to make like 300 black and white issues and created their own company to do it. Then, of course, it sold out, it did really well, and that, but they kept it in-house sort of thing and they kept it going and they didn't get, they didn't sell out like a lot of a lot of people do with franchises, so they're able to maintain a lot of control. But um, they eventually did allow a movie to be made and it was really great. I really enjoyed it. I saw it in the cinema because, um, I mean, I was lucky because, I mean, a lot of films I didn't get to see when I was a kid, um, and a lot of films, they end up being shown in movie palaces and stuff like that, like the Astor, so I got to see it on the big screen, but um, it's, it was much better than I remember. Um, overall, the trilogy is good. The second film is not as good as the first film, and the third film had some huge issues, but um, the first film is great. It's really great, and I really love my Necker turtles, because they look just like the turtles in the film, like they look so good. Um, but, um, because the, um, the Playmates ones were based on the comics and they didn't quite look, you know, like the ones in the movies, they were different, but, um, yeah, because, um, they weren't based on the TV series, like I originally thought they were based on the TV series characters, but they're actually based on the car, um, the comics, but, um, so far as the film, it's your basic story, we have April being rescued by the Turtles, then she's introduced to the Turtles. Um, Splinter explains how he basically and the Turtles were contaminated by green ooze in the sewer and that um, they all mutated into human, human turtle and human rat hybrids and that he was basically raising them because he was much older. Um, they were teenagers now and he learnt how to be a ninja through being the pet of a ninja master. So he taught them how to be ninjas and they're basically just running around being vigilantes because the city is being um, um, threatened by a group and um, they're basically, basically petty crime but it's a really interesting villain. Shredder, he's your basic bad guy but he's put together a group of um, henchmen called the Foot Clan which are basically trained children who are homeless or runaways that have all been sort of drawn into this sort of cult sort of family where they are allowed to be do whatever they want and um, not have any rules and there's this weird sort of lost boys quality to them and that's really interesting and kind of scary and it's believable to an extent. Um, Shredder and um, the Foot Clan and the, the kids and the cult and all that it's really believable, and the film is actually quite dark and violent for a kid's film. It's got pizza and cowabunga and all that, but um, it's, it's, it's really good. And the atmosphere, the way it shoots New York, because they shot, did a fair amount of location work in New York, and it just has a real reality to it. You really believe the turtles exist. The Jim Henson puppetry that they used um, it looks amazing. And it's, you, you really forget that they're, you know... They're, they're real turtles, you know, you just forget, you just, you're able to buy into it, and I can imagine, it holds up now, so I can imagine how well it really was for kids back in the day. So, um, the only issue with the film really is, is the ending is a little underwhelming, and they did want to reshoot the ending, 
um, the director and that, they had this budget started off small and then they brought Jim Henson in and got bigger and bigger and they got the money from New Line Cinema um, and a few other places. But they weren't happy. They And they actually approached Disney, the director and I think the writer um, or one of the producers approached Disney in trying to get them to board it. They re-edited the film twice, but they didn't buy it and they contacted the studio, the, 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 um, the people involved and they actually fired the director and whoever else was involved in trying to sell it to New Line. They re-edited it, released it but the, under, the ending is a little underwhelming. There are basically a bunch of battles that seem quite big for the film, and then the last battle is just between Splinter and... Um, um, why am I forgetting his name? Um, Shredder and Splinter. Um, and... In case you haven't seen it, I won't spoil it, but basically it's a fairly simple moment where um, uh, Splinter wins over Shredder. And you think Shredder dies, and that's the end of the film. Um, now, April was quite believable. She seemed like quite a real woman of the 90s. Um, she worked, the turtles worked, the actors, they all did a great job. Even in the costumes, they managed to move like ninjas. It was really a great film. I can't believe how good it was watching it again today, how well it holds up, and how much I enjoyed it. Now, the second film... Now, sequels either do one of three things. They copy the original... They try and outdo the original, or they try and do something totally different. Now, for the second film, they tried to outdo the original, so they... And because they had more money this time, I think they spent 20... Was it 25 million on the budget? Um, why is my computer not telling me? Okay, the $25 million budget, it made $78 million. I can't see how much it made international. It must, must have made some money international. It had a $20 million opening. So I think the excitement was still there. It opened reasonably big, um, but kind of, I guess it dropped off because I guess word of mouth wasn't as good because this film wasn't as real. Um, they had Shredder return from nowhere, like he survived somehow. Um, his helmet doesn't look as good. Um, and instead of using the clan and working on that threat and making that more real and, and, and that, they basically have him track down the doctor that created the ooze that created the turtles and try to create some mutants to fight them. Now, I know the cartoons and the comics use a lot of mutants, but that is one of those things that was a bit too much. It's more That worked better in the cartoons. And in this film, they create these big mutants, but they have the minds of babies because they're basically babies they knew and they like you know say mu call shredder mama and stuff like that and it's mostly played for laughs they're not really scary and they have a scene where vanilla ice is performing and the turtles are dancing while they're fighting and it's a little bit too much a little bit too comedic and a bit too light and they tried to make it they tried to make it appeal more for kids and why it worked was they didn't do that they made it sort of dark and a bit sort of real and this film sort of backtracked on that and tried to um, outdo itself in the in the comedy and, and the fun sort of side of things. And it took away, like I said, the, the reality and the darkness of the first film, which really worked. So it wasn't as good. Um, Shredder turning into the giant mutant Shredder was good, though. Um, he looked good. They should have spent more time with just Shredder and his threat through the Foot Clan and not sort of focused on the mutants. Um, now, the third film they did... The next sort of approach sequels usually try, where they just try to do something totally different. So someone said, well, let's just send them back in time to the 16th century and they can fight real ninjas. And I'm like, okay, why would they do that? Like, they, they took them out of the, the environment where they worked so well, out of New York. Um, Casey's back. And, um, I mean, they replaced April in the second film with another actress, because apparently the other actress who was really good, um, that's who I think of as April, she apparently complained too much about the violence and how difficult the film was to make, so they replaced her with just a pretty girl actress. She, she, the character doesn't do as much. She's not as interesting. She's just there to basically look pretty and be rescued sort of thing. That's, she's just not very interesting. Um, now, the third film, what happens is they have this um, device and they basically get sent back in time and they are transported where they swap for other people. So... Five, so April goes back and the four turtles. April goes back accidentally and the four turtles go back to save her. Um, and then five people from the 16th century Japan end up in current day. And they play that mostly for laughs. Um, but yeah, they, 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 
what would have been interesting is if they had gone back and shown the origins of the Foot Clan, which was supposed to have originated in Japan. They could have done that. That would have been more interesting, and they could have based it far enough back that they were real ninjas and that, but they didn't do it at all. They just had this totally different random adventure um, in the past where they're basically fighting ninjas. And, I mean, it wasn't as bad as I thought, because I didn't even know this film existed until a couple of years ago when I bought... Um, I found the DVDs. I found, you know, one, two, and three. And I'm like, did you a third film? I didn't even know they'd done it. I knew they'd done The Secret of the Use. I saw that back in the day. Um, but, um, yeah, it, it, it wasn't as bad as I thought. The basic premise doesn't engage me and doesn't work. But the actual film itself was well done. The characters, they're you know, the same characters we love. The actors do a good job. Um, Casey's back, which makes up for the fact they got rid of um, April. But, um, yeah, the film series ended. Now, the third film did... Um, it did a 12 million opening, so half, a bit less, a bit more than half of the, of the last film's opening. It made $42 million domestic, and there's nothing to say how much it made international. So it made about half as much as that film, which made about half as much as that film. So when you have a films, when you're having films going, basically losing half the money, you're not going to keep making them for very long. So they decided to rest it at this point. This TV series ended just after that as well. The comics had ended because they were having trouble um, managing their business and um, still keeping true to their original. That's a whole another series of videos which other people have done better than I ever could, so I'm not going to deal with that really. But it was a really interesting, the story of the Turtles. Um, but yeah, overall the trilogy was good. I enjoyed the second film much more than I thought I would. But um, they both have their faults. Like I said, the second film tries to outdo the first film with the kiddiness and the, um, the the mutants that are played for laughs. The third film tries to do something totally different and it's really just random and it's too far removed from what worked in the first and second films. But overall, the main thing, the main reason you watch it is for the turtles themselves, for the characters. The costumes still hold up. The costumes in the third film don't look as good as the second film and the first film. The first and second film, they're pretty much identical. Um, so, yeah, that's my little review for the... Um, original Turtles trilogy. I loved the first film. It is just so good. I didn't realise how good it was. I didn't, wasn't expecting it to hold up as well as it did and be as good as it was. Second film, better than I remember. Third film, more enjoyable than I thought. But um, yeah, they sort of had the same problem a lot of trilogies have, where they go in the wrong directions and they just have less money being made. There aren't many series where they go straight up in box office or up and down and up and down and sort of warrant sort of rolling the dice again with other sequels. Now, they did um, a live-action film, I'm sorry, an animated film after this. Um, then they did a live-action reboot with um, Megan Fox, which the Turtles, no one liked them. The way they looked, it didn't really work. The first film did make 400 and something million dollars, though. But it wasn't enough. The second film made 200. It wasn't enough for to really recreate the, the Turtles for a new generation, have another sort of period of Turtle Mania or anything. Um, and now they've gone back to animation with Mutant Mayhem, which has mostly just been done to keep the merchandise flowing and so forth. But um, it looks okay. Um, they they tried to create some drama with Scumbug, but Scumbug and Split have been together. You know, Scumbug's a girl, so it's okay. It's just, I guess it wasn't obvious. And there was a poster that had the wrong um, gender um, referring to Scumbug as a him, so that confused some people. But... Um, I'm looking forward to it. I think it looks good. Um, the TV series, they're all great. Um, the first series was very kiddy, and then it moved into a bit darker in the later seasons, and then they came back in 2003 and did a much truer to the Turtles' original source, because the original source was very dark. It was a bit of a parody of um, Daredevil and some of the other um, um, dark sort of comics at the time. It was quite violent, and they allowed it to be sort of changed and altered and made more kitty, but that was really only because they continued to make the comic the same. It did change the comic and they kept the rights to the comic. So it's it's a very interesting history, but I'm going to go because I've been talking for nearly 15 minutes, which is kind of okay for a, a, a review of a, you know, a, a whole series of films, a trilogy of films. But um, yeah, so I love my Nika Turtles. Um, I'm tempted to get the other ones. They made large, large scale ones and I might get them. Oh, I also forgot. I got the Shredder as well, and his, the costume is great, it's very well recreated, and I did an unboxing for these, and I'm glad I bought them, and I might get the Foot Soldiers, there's um, 
one of them on its own and then two and I'm guessing they're all different so if you buy both packs you end up with three so you have a whole little um, army of foot soldiers but um yeah they apparently I haven't seen a shred um, a splinter because um, of course I've got splinter from the original toy line but um they are continuing the movie line um, Nika is still doing once they did um one of the other characters this year from the second film so hopefully if they haven't already done all the characters they eventually will but I'm gonna go feel free to share like comment subscribe let me know what you think of the turtles movie and the the, the movie the original movie um, trilogy series I really enjoyed it I really enjoyed watching it especially the first film is really great and the other films were still okay they're still pretty good but I'm gonna go